you should have seen that coming. But you didn't. Are you ready? Well, you a bold prediction from us um, that you guys are wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think um, we've been discussing a little bit. I mean, there's some interesting lanes coming out from these guys. I, I think Virtus Pro have a pretty big advantage in this game, though. Steven, what say you, good sir? Where are you going? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, run little boxy, run to the river, run past the river, in fact, he's gonna be okay though. They don't have catch potential. Anyway, back to your prediction. Thirty seconds to battle. Mm-hmm. Rolling out. Wild. The battle begins. Yeah. I think this bottom lane might be a bit of a disaster again for Team Liquid though, because um, this anti mage should have a pretty free time. I don't see how this lane doesn't go exactly the same the last game did. I mean, they've got two purges against nothing which can be purged, right? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, Liquid. Seems like it could be a plan as insane is going to go in for the uh, creep block. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, save just slowing down the tiny, stopping Tiger from uh, really getting any of its spells off onto this Enchantress. But yeah, some very interesting lanes coming out um, from the side of Liquid as they, they have got Insania bottom and Tiger up at top. He's going to be playing that tiny to support Mickey. And a nice toss back under the tower there when they're just going to use the sp Scatter Blast to get rid of the creeps to make sure the tower target's safe but still lands onto the creep, so save so takes a decent amount of damage, but still will be absolutely fine as she can harass down Tiger here at the same time. A rolling stone. Oh, bottom lane, jump forward onto Insania here. He's going to try and purge himself off, but with no mana left, Athletic Kid, it's actually kind of hurting him because he's not doing that much damage. And Insania is going to be able to get himself back and salve himself up. It's going to be absolutely fine. Not for you. Top lane, Avatos onto the Enchantress, getting her decently low, but Mickey could be the one in trouble here. It's the Impetus connects a right click from DM as well, and that is going to be first blood. They had the damage between them. Impetus, man. <laughs> I was. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Scary stuff for GPKS. He's just being bullied out of the lane non-stop i mean the moment he gets a jingu stack on him or two then it's just gonna have to be playing it very very cautious but we'll be able to grab a couple of creeps under his tower here but unfortunately both the range creeps get taken from him smashing it step lively now your admiral is on board 
Yeah, the poor old pirate not really getting a look in on this middle lane currently, but he's gonna have to try and focus on them creeps. Get himself uh, into the game in that regard. Step lively now, your admiral is on board. Look at it go! Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of happy just go and trade some hits with Boxy. And even if Boxy turns around and gets a couple of moments of courage off, as long as he's draining his mana, he's going to feel pretty good about that one. And Sensania takes a step too far forward to try and get the kill onto the courier. And now he's in some real trouble. Oh, that coconut. Ilias, he's feeling lucky today as they bring down Insania. Boxy will be zoned out as well. Meanwhile, Tiny up in the top lane, getting very low to DM and save, but they don't quite have the range to get off that last right click or impetus. So instead, they'll just use it onto Mickey instead. So much damage coming out from these two, though. blood for you. Nice maths. Yep, meanwhile. Flight. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. There yep. is Do you no like his no you do. ability? Uh oh, he's in some trouble now. Does get the silence off onto the both of them. They're trying to surround him. DM trying to run through the tree. Scatterblast is going to miss. He moves across to the creep wave. They need one more right click. Are they going to find it? They will have a toss available in two seconds, but with save coming in as well, it's a little bit too tricky. Tiger, he really wants it. He really wants to see him, but he doesn't get vision on DM. And he's just going to go down. Tiger can't get the kill. And save even feeling a little bit aggressive onto Mickey. They might be able to get this kill. Mickey tries to jump forward onto DM, doesn't find it. They're both going to die to save. Missed it. Tomato man is too damn strong in the top lane. Save gonna take them both down. That's a double kill for the inch. And Liquid gonna be feeling very awkward about that one. Is this. DM's so good, dude. Stun out Boxy in the bottom lane. They throw down the Maledict as well. But. Uh, not going to follow up on this one. Not with Insania backing him up. Too scary. Could be in some trouble here as Koikfer is able to get off that Jinko and the Battle Strike will finish the job. Meanwhile, Tiger's having some trouble with DM here as DM just right clicking him down, but GPK with a nice little two man torrent here. X Marks comes down to Koikfer as well, dragging him back into that boat. Mickey is in the neighborhood, throws in the cookie, which actually, yeah, well, fair enough then. And <laughs> a really nice dodge from the Monkey King. Oops, but. Really nice moves, allows them to TP away, and uh, that's going to be that. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's kind of awkward because Boxy never has any mana, so the anti mage is never really getting that much damage up with uh, mana break. Denied. Yep. If you have no mana, why bother leveling up spells? Take your passive. Elias dares coming too close to Boxy. Boxy just runs at him with a creep wave attacking him, always going to proc the moment of courage. Uh oh, there he go. Oh, well, Save's actually the one who drops as he goes under the tower. Yeah, really nice little toss play there from Tiger. Unfortunately, this creep doing so much damage. Mickey trying to come in and help out with the cookie, but unfortunately, it's not enough. Meanwhile, Elias goes down in the bottom lane to Boxy and Insania. And then looking towards Epileptican as well. He has to back himself away. Does have himself a mana void to play with, but doesn't feel like it would be enough damage to bring down Boxy even with that maledict on him. So that's going to be a straight up death for the, both the supports on the side of Virtus Pro. Radiance Middle oh, Tower is under right. attack. It will fall like a ripe apple. Denied. Denied. <laughs> Oh, 
your hatred of anti mage never ceases to amuse but i mean I, I do i do agree with the points you make about the heroes you know you give him a fantastic lane and he's like all right uh i'll pay you guys back in about 10 minutes once i go hit some creeps meanwhile i'm saying you're in the bottom lane in a bit of trouble they will get the disarm out onto yam to keep him alive a little bit longer but he will most definitely be falling here meanwhile the hadouken and the impetus is onto boxy boxy just wants to tp himself away realizing that even though there was actually a mana void available in the am realizing he wasn't going to be able to get close enough in time decides to peace out Meanwhile, Quaif is going for this Aghanim's Rush. It's something we've been seeing on the Monkey King whenever it does get picked up. This seems to be the most common build. It's very, very strong. Tower hopes Ooh, once again, no bones today. <laughs> he can't miss. Meanwhile, oh, three man stun out from Mickey there with a beautiful little cookie into this one. Unfortunately, they don't have the damage done. Swat around Koifer. He needs to leave. He's going for the TP. Not going to make it. Mickey in some trouble as well as the side of Vertus Pro Star chasing him down, and they will be able to bring down the snap player. Meanwhile, the sidelines and Senia just trying to bring down DM, but can't quite 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 the vision there. And with that first speed, he's able to just navigate through the trees away from the Oracle. And now that Oracle is in a whole world of hurt as DM's going to bring another one down. They lose three on the side off Liquid. Getting violent flashbacks to game number two when they had this kind of smooth laning phase and then Liquid just started turning up some strange fights and VP started to pull ahead real hard. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No gale can snuff the flames. Hmm. Hmm. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Quite curious. Yards even with the toying with the idea of maybe some like Dyer's you know playing for the attack. for the moldy shot talent was it level 20 Rain's talent um, on Mickey? We don't really see anyone doing that, but it could have been fun. Dyer's top tower is feeling its mortality. Dyer's top tower has fallen. The earth radiance bottom raining. tower is fading mm -hmm. fast. What have we here? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. There is little Dyer's middle tower is learning to fear. Radiant's bottom tower is Radiance under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. The pace of battle Yeah, Yep, quickens. it was nearly nice until it wasn't. Xenia. Are you cancelling the TP in the last minute there? Hmm. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It fights well, for its life. It's going to survive. A nice little toss back. Oh, that is a beautiful little two play there from Liquid as they get the toss back into the duel under the tower. And Mickey even throws in a singular Mortimer's kiss. <laughs> it's uh, almost like a bad magic kiss, isn't it? Just one kiss on top of him. Like, you die now. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, well... Boxy being run out in the top lane by Aleptic Kid and DM here. Just seems like a uh, some, some thorough harassing. I wouldn't really call this a, a gank or a go of any kind. They're just kind of saying hello to their friend. Avatos on to the Enchantress. Not quite enough to finish the job though. Enchantress still alive for the time being and now turning it around on the target. He's the one who's going to lose his life instead. Down goes the Tiny. Tried to make the play there with the Monkey King and the Tiny, but unfortunately Monkey King, I mean, he's so weak at this point that unless there's a really tasty opportunity which presents itself, then it's unlikely that he's going to get involved in these engagements. Just wants to find his eggs. Doesn't want to risk dying that deep. <laughs> this man has doesn't have the patience. Too low creeps, too delicious. Resist, resist quick. <laughs> I think he's waiting for them to show. He's like, all right, well, you know, there's not that many people. Hmm. Um. Oh, he's going forward and save an Ilya Spring the Trap, but he jumps back across to the trees. They won't be able to chase him into those tree lines. So, yeah, quick for baited perfectly. Yes. 
Yikes. That's scary. Yeah, I feel like Liquid, you know, now this Battle Fury is online, it's kind of their time to go. They they need to start pressuring the rest of the team, try and pressure the anti-mage a little bit, start owning some of this map because they don't have that farming hero. They've got they've got the Monkey King with Ags, which I don't really fancy as a direct matchup into the anti-mage. Meanwhile, Avalanche toss back. That's a nice little play here. Nice Jewel comes out onto the Witch Doctors, kisses on overhead as well. And not the singular kiss. I mean, this is some mafia shit right here for Mickey. He's just like sealing it with a kiss of death. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, but he took off way too much that he could chew there. Meanwhile, Boxy on the front line is just turning around and manning up against three heroes here. They're not really doing very well against that. Meanwhile, Koikva comes in, throws down the Bounder Strike onto the Kunker, controlling him up. Jingu's got to come off on Koikva, but he dodges out the Torrent. Meanwhile, nice. Oh, beautiful little avalanche into the cookie, into the War Kong's command. They're going to be able to take down GPK, but the blink away from Ann is successful, so Epileptic Kid will survive that one. It's just going to be two kills for the side of Team Liquid. But utilizing a lot of their ultimates very, very well here, for sure. Ooh. Tis mine. Excellent. Dyer's middle tower is learning to fear. Wish. Fulfill. Yeah. I'll dig that. Yeah, like a lot of people think like, oh, you know, you false promise, the best spell for Oracle, but in games like this, this Fate's Edict is 100% um, just as strong. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing Epileptic can do, it's hit creeps. This, this guy knows how to play PvE. Alright, is it go time yet? I know, right? Okay, we have three timings arriving, all within a minute of each other. We've, we've got the Agonim Scepter on the Monkey King, we have the Snapfire with the Guardian Screes, and we have the Blink Dagger on the Legion Commander. There is no way they don't try and make a play. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Oh, no, that's a lot of ulties. That's a lot of mistakes from the side of Team Liquid, beautifully baited by GPK. The Jewel, the Kisses. Oh, man. And now, well, they're looking for some revenge here. Virtus Pro, they are looking to rub some salt into this wound, but a nice little toss back from the side of Tiger. He's in some trouble. They might die for this one and say, drop that Death Ward. Beautiful little Death Ward of the high ground there to chase back Liquid. Yules out onto Mickey. He could be in some trouble. Can he get off that Fire Snap cookie? Yes, he can. And the Sun's immediately purged off as well as he turns around for the Snap Fire Blast. Gonna be controlled up very well. Now Koikva comes in from the high ground, drops a pretty nice Wukong's command here. Does he actually turn into this fight though? Or is it just a bit on the high ground? It's just a zoning Wukong's command. Get Virtus Pro off there backs and it'll give their team the reset unfortunately that is going to mean that you know they used all oh insania really but he, he didn't he didn't save him he had the spells he didn't save him uh a duel in the mid lane though they're looking for the kill here they will be able to finally get a dual kill on the save the boxy now up to 30 damage the x marks comes back this fight not by the over might not be over yet folks yours comes out onto boxy they'll both go their separate ways of the river and this fight will now be over folks you can return back to eating your snacks Ow. Yeah, this is not feeling too good for Tiger. See how they... Mm-hmm. Nothing will stand in my way. The Dyer have fortified their grove. Rolling out. Ray 
Yeah, cloak with its axe, double damage. I mean, that's just a tower, which is going to very quickly indeed. I'm wondering, hmm. It's usually, if, when you see Monkey King players sieging towers, they usually get, like, as close to the towers they physically can to allow these, uh, soldiers to spawn within attacking the tower, but I think Koiko is just a bit worried about the blood right. So. Tower has fallen. There is still much to be done. Dyer's top tower is feeling you know, its Four heroes of Virtus Pro hanging out at top. It's just saved behind this middle tower. There might be a bit of an engagement here. The two teams look like they're on a war path Dyer's onto each other. Tower is under Going back for tier one, Liquid still hanging out in that jungle. Such an oh, they actually just walk around each other. Now there's... Killed by creeps, maybe? No, just out the range of the creep wave. Yep. Does indeed. Meanwhile, AM finishes off the Manta, picks it up in his base, and is now going to be ready to blow up some heroes. And oh, Mickey, hello! Wait, There's a hello. hero. Needs to get himself away here as Athletic Kid gets on top of it. Creeps is available. They jump in with the duel, trying to get it onto Illusion again. Oh no, Box! A second Illusion of duel off the game. That's not how you want the cookie to crumble. As Quakefoot throwing down the ultimate, just kind of tempting that Wukong's and forcing back Virtus Pro. I mean, it's it's not the highest commitment ulti in the world, but it would have been really nice to kill off that anti-mage there, fortunately. Yeah, yeah, now Tiger, he's taking some damage. It looks like the Tiny is going to be going down again, once again. Insane wants to save that ulti for the big targets, but it's so sad just to watch this Tiny dying again and again. Meanwhile, Mickey getting bullied on the back lines. There comes a the though from Insania, Wukong's command comes down as well, but they've got nothing to keep them inside of this ring, so they are just going to run out of it. And now they look across towards the Conker, they're finally jumping in with a Primal Spring, and they'll be able to bring down the Pirate, and I think that's going to put an end to this fight as they back themselves away on the side of Virtus Pro. They do take a couple of casualties, but all the same, I don't think they're going to be that sad about this considering they're the team fighting with their anti-mage, and every fight that kind of draws to an equal is feeling pretty good for the side of Virtus Pro. Meanwhile, Quakeford yeeting on forwards here on top of this Witch Doctor. I mean, he's going to get you now. There's your duel. There it is. Boxy finds the uh, Consolation duel. It's something. Dyer's middle tower is under oh, yeah? attack. No gale can snuff the flames. Yeah, and it's just the blade mail and everything. It's just too much damage to the anti mage to handle. Even with just the Legion Commander alone, I'm fairly sure she gets him down to about like 5% HP. And then all you need is a Monkey King or a Mortimer's Kisses or a, a Tiny. There's so many heroes to help make these duels successful. Unfortunately, there's just been some one really nice illusion bait and uh, one just, you know, manta into panic from Boxy, unfortunately. Had to make the guess, didn't get it right. Yeah, he's still a pebble. Oh, yeah. You seemed nice. Sorry. Yep, she's gonna get a salami sliced up in the top lane by Boxy. That's gonna be a nice easy kill. Another chunk of damage. And now they're into Roche. Now they wanna take down the big boy. Shan's gonna be the target. Virtus Pro. Will they have an answer to this? Well, no ping is coming out just yet. They don't seem to be aware. If they are, they're not interested. Pretty good from Liquid here as they will be able to take down this Roshan and get themselves an Aegis on Koifer who is now got a Desolator, Aghanim's Aegis heading towards BKB at a decent timing. He's catching up with his AM somehow. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Illusion! I foresee the Radiant's top tower falling shortly. Radiant structures are fortified. The stream tells of tactics. That's true. Both kind of attack. want to target the back lines, Dyer's I think. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Dyer's bottom tower hopes for aid. Yeah, at the same time, I do kind of like it into the Monkey King and Oracle lineup. You know, it's just the ability to stop these heals coming through so much. <laughs> True. And he's chilling. He's, he's, he's saying, hey, you know, I've, I've got a teammate coming through. Mickey, he's got the Aghanims, throws the tiny forwards onto the Witch Doctor. There comes a duel, and they will dispatch Avilius very quickly indeed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got a boat thrown in his head, but they just TP away. Yeah, they see the Aegis on the monkey and just like, yeah, see ya. Yeah. No, he wouldn't have. Very nice indeed, yeah. Quake for going to be left empty-handed after that one, but they still get themselves at least to kill onto the Witch Doctor, as Liquid continue to keep up the pace in this game. Still behind, there is still this anti-mage just farming up all over the place, but as we've mentioned before, you know, it's, it's going to take more than usual for this anti-mage to be a real force in this game. You need to be about an item ahead. Ooh, okay, there we go. Yeah, they got to wait the awkward wait. Okay, oh. Oh, 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 there he comes. There's a jewel. There we go. Finish the job. A couple of spells being used. Ah, uh, oh, okay. A little bit close, but. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 very nerve wracking. I like the way it's tiny. It's just like, eh, I don't need a blink. I've I've, I've got a uh, I've got my own <laughs> method of transport. Exactly. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Tiny Airlines is uh, so 2019. In 2020, it's all about snap air. Radiance Middle Tower is losing its foundation. Radiance Bark has grown thick. Tiny. Snap air is very good. Tower is under if the patch would have a title, crashed. I think I might choose that because it's it's the most fun factor of the patch for sure. Seeing heroes flying across the map in every direction. Oh, toss back onto the Conker. That's a very nice catch from Tiger here. Can they finish the job with the GPK? The one of his kisses coming through over the top, but he's pretty fast. But doesn't matter. A beautiful sun comes out from Koikva. Save and GPK just dive very, very quickly. But meanwhile, Epileptic in the back lines. He's causing a bit of havoc because he's taken down Insania. Tiger does die in the front. And now Epileptic Kid goes itself back. But a beautiful little toss across over onto Epileptic Kid. It's not going to result in a kill, however, as he's able to get himself back with the help of the Witch Doctor. But still, really nice um, in some reactions there from Mickey. Must have picked him up and thrown him at almost like the same moment as the blink came through. Really, really quick for Mickey. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, quite enough to result in the kill on CAM, but scary stuff for this anti mage. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has shattered. Ooh, I'll have to come back here. In they go. Oh no, the dick gets instantly popped the by the Oracle. Awesome. Nice Lincolns, nerd. They stay in the bottom lane as they bring down Epileptic Kid instantly. Oh no, he thought he was safe. Meanwhile, at top, Witch Doctor's Mega just kill. getting turned into sliced ham by old Mr. Koikfa. However, maybe could be in some trouble. Ah, oh, never mind, BKB.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> there is little it can do. Not so safe harbor, eh? It's too hard. It's too damn difficult. Team Liquid now besieging the enemy base. Feeling very, very confident just to sit here with Quake, but you know, even if he just spends a few seconds up on this high ground, getting those soldiers out, it's going to do so much damage to this tower. Nope. Hello? Oh. Pain in the ass, that's for sure. He's done a really nice job on predicting the movements here, but Tiger once again with a blink back, throw back onto the save. He's going to lose his life. The Enchantress shall fall. Another one for fast. back at the Team Liquid. Tiger jumping forwards, bound the strike to follow as well. GPK though, getting back, and Epilepsy Kid's on top, off this tiny. Okay, Tiger probably losing his life here as the rest of Team Liquid trying to back themselves away, but unfortunately, Boxy, not quite so lucky. Even with the BKB, he's gonna get finished off as well. Down goes two. What dragged him back into that fight? Was that a blink? Or an X marks, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Step lively now, your Admiral is on board. save very quick to uh, buy back into that and just give them the extra bit of force they needed, possibly throwing out an enchant to grab themselves that extra possible kill. And now Vardis Pro with two heroes dead again, to try and put some pressure onto top. Oh, bounty! This will come in handy. Eight knots and full ahead. Ooh, do they see him? They see him. Oh, trying to cast the X marks, trying to cast the torrent. They will actually land it here, but the cookie's gonna come through, try and keep Insania alive. He's gonna try and put the shadow amulet, but unfortunately it's not enough. He is gonna go down. No buyback either, so they're gonna have to fight without him here if they do want to fight at all. Tiger go for the TP away, cancelled out by the mana void. They'll bring down Tiger as well. Two heroes dead. Yeah, get on that high ground, Virtus Pro. Dyer's middle tower has been uprooted. And two minutes. Dyer's top My tower is under to attack. Me. I think so too. I think so too. He's very close as well. He's about 300 gold off it. Play the bottom side of the map. Honestly, Vettis Pro don't get anything for this. Do you, do you think they should have gone high ground? Yeah. And they go, they find GPK on the front lines. Can they bring him down in time? It looks like they can. And the duel come through and the conga comes down. GPK out of the fight, but he does buy back into this one. Boxy looking over towards Epileptic Kid here. Of course, they have no duel anymore, so he has to run himself away, but ruptured up, not really possible to do so. Now the heal comes out from the Oracle as they look across towards his anti mate, taking so much damage. They come in with the Avatar's combination. Is it going to be enough though as they turn around and just rip into the Legion Commander, making sure she goes down. Now looking over towards Tiger as well as the X marks out onto Mickey. He's thrown out of position. Virtus Pro on the warpath right now. Quick with the BKB trying to Turn it around, but it's one man against five. Is this really gonna work? I'm not sure. A lot of soldiers being spawned. Senia helping out from the high ground as well. They're gonna try and make it back onto the safe land. And they can't actually keep fighting here, Virtus Pro. Everybody's so low on yes. HP, and these statues are a real pain to try and fight into. So Quake for is actually gonna be able to repel the forces of Virtus Pro and force the reset. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It fights for its life. The Radiant have ended, Rashawn.
Yeah, I mean, it could be considered a slight overcommitment onto GPK, perhaps, because, you know, that was dual, it was Mortimer's Kisses, it was Wukong's Command. Pretty much everything at their disposal went the way of him, but then again, you know, it is Conker. You need to kill him in that dual timer, otherwise you've got a real issue. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. There so, is no to kid. Do. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's nothing to mess around with. Also, by the way, Epileptic Kid, I don't know if you mentioned this, but he uh, changed from Scardi to uh, Abyssal Blade, which he has now finished up. Yeah. Oh, he jumps into open here. I mean, immediately the duel comes down and the back line's on to save. So they're trying to bring down the Enchantress nice and quickly. Won't be able to do so, though, as they can control that boxy really nicely because he didn't pop that BKB. Meanwhile, it's saying he gets killed on the back lines by Epileptic Hit. That means no Oracle. That means the fight is probably over. But Koikva, he's trying to stand his ground, popping that Wukong's command. Has a BKB at his disposal, but I don't think he wants to use it here as Ilias does get killed off by Tiger on the side, utilizing the zoning provided by Koikva. Meanwhile, GPK, did he get the X marks off onto that tiny? Looks like he didn't. Tiger's going to be okay. Mickey though, he was killed off in the back. That is another big kill for the side of Virtus Pro as Anti-Mage gets himself another. Dire structures are fortified. Doom is on the way. Structures are fortified. Blink and Abyssal onto Tiger, scaring him off here. They don't want to overcommit because they know this Blink duel is available from Legion at the same time. So if they lose anyone by accident, this could spell problems as the Heaven's Halberd. Now onto the Monkey King from the Conker. He's happy to come forward here though. They managed to jump in. They try and go for the duel onto the AM, but it doesn't come off in time. I think the Lincoln's blocked it. And now, well, Koikfa and Boxy both caught inside that boat here. Koikfa trying to turn around and try and fight up into this one. Is he going to be able to heal up enough with that Jenku just about? But the Rupture's on him and they're going to blow him up with a mana void and now epileptic kid gets on top of insania buyback comes out from the monkey king and from the snapfire who only had a couple of seconds left but they know they need to fight they know they need this combo throwing the monkey king forwards trying to bring this anti -mage down for a second time as they combo it up with a cookie and it will kill off the am there's a big cost to bring him down maybe they can get dm as well they do indeed fortune's end comes on top of the blood king he's dead as well sorry the blood uh, seeker not the blood king as he gets killed off by the monkey and by boxy and well i mean it cost them a lot but they do defend this high ground. Now, what is the play? I think they need some buybacks here on the side of Team Liquid. Pick it up, Mortimer. The flayed one it is me for blood. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. <laughs> it will fall like a rock. Oh, that's juicy. Tiger, oh, he steps forward very far here. However, they're very, very scared to try and commit to this one as Tiger's going to lose his life if George Rupture comes through. Bo's going to connect as well. They get the duel out onto the Enchanter. The Enchanter, though, she doesn't care. She's tanking the duel. They don't even bring down the Ench. She's going to be able to limp herself away from this one. Mortimus Kiss is coming out over the top as well. Save runs himself away from the high ground. They are out. Ultimate's committed. But yeah, it's so tanky. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle barracks have been split open. It's yeah. I mean that that is best play scenario for Vetus Pro. I can't believe Save survived that though. Like even though with boat, even though with everything, with the with the glimmer cave, like Save is somehow super tanky with like very few items. Too much to deal with. Too much. Uh, Mickey. Oh, interesting. Okay, Mickey has finally decided that he's going to transition into this carry build. He's uh, got the level 20. Little Shredder, use your attack damage. Got that Chrysalis. So the style where things start to get a little bit spicy for the Snapfire as we start to see it move in a different direction. Mm -hmm. We're jumping forwards. Yeah. 
That's not fair. Oh. Sania. He doesn't know. He's, 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 send everyone send your brain waves the way of Insania right now, guys. Come on, we could do it. Oh no, 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 our brain waves weren't strong enough. Yeah, they saw that creep wave diet mid as well. They know what's up. Yeah. It's very interesting seeing what the teams think the other team is doing in these situations. Now, with the creeps attacking the high ground, they need to do something about this, unfortunately. So, uh, Liquid, you know, they, they are unable to find anything with this movement across, but they do get themselves a couple of neutral items, they get themselves an outpost back, and they get themselves a the top side of the map. So, gosh, a very tense game, though. How do you see these next couple of fights playing out? Step lively now, your admiral is on board. It's four protect one, but not in the way we know it. I foresee the Radiant's top tower falling chest. shortly. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Okay. Illusion escape. <laughs> yeah, Boxy here. He does like these. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's done it again. Oh, Boxy pops everything on the illusion for another time as AM goes to the back lines, but it doesn't matter. Atlantic is going to lose his life anyway. Okay. The Bait on baits going on here. Never mind, Boxy running forwards now. Getting healed up, but he doesn't really care. I mean, he's a happy man. He just got himself a kill on CA. Fair enough. Jump forwards here. Meanwhile, just cannonballing Koikver on top of Ilias. Ilias is going to die, as is save. What the? What, how did that work? This one's afternoon is. It doesn't buy back. How did that work? Damn. Boxy proving the haters wrong with the bait on bait on bait. I mean, I'm, I'm joking, you know, he definitely thought that AM was real, but I mean, Liquid is able to counter react so damn well to the AM just getting too over ambitious. And well, they're on the tier fours. How? How can they do it? It will fall like a ripe apple. Radiance Middle Tower is losing. Looking around. Yeah, they've got one. They're going to use it on the throne right now, but they've dropped down the Wukong's try and just take down the building. Quite for focusing on the Ancient. Can they do anything about this? GPK's coming in, but the BKB is up, but they managed to get off to the Zam along with the Yules. Chain them up together. Probably not ideal as GPK loses his life, and there's a GG pop. They've done it. Liquid take down Virtus Pro, the second place positions in this critical game. They will dig deep and they will find the victory here in game number three.